All right, and welcome back to another episode of the Modern Brew Life channel. So today we're making a hazy IPA. You might be wondering, how do you make a hazy IPA? Well, stick around and uh, we'll just show you the uh, the magic how to make a delicious hazy IPA. I'm with my friend here, Coral. Hey, welcome back. We're uh, starting out the brew day. So what we got so far for our grains, we're doing 11 pounds of um, British Pale Two Row. Good stuff, haven't used it yet. Yeah, so it should be interesting. Uh, one pound of white wheat, uh, 1.5 pounds of uh, flaked oats because we're doing a hazy IPA. And so for our hops, we are doing a uh, in the beginning boil, 60 minutes. Uh, we're doing 2.5 ounces of bubbles. Then once it gets to 30 minutes, um, 30 minutes left, we're doing uh, 2.1 ounces of El Dorado. And then for the last 10 minutes, we're doing 3.9 ounces of the Brew One hops from, uh, well, these are all from Yakima Valley. And then uh, we're gonna dry hop it for the last like couple days. Um, so we're doing three ounces of, of citra hops and three ounces of apple crisp hops. And then also for the yeast that we're gonna use, we're gonna be using White Labs Productions or WLP, the 001. Go classic Cali Ale yeast. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong there. Nope. So it should be a, more of a fun brew day. Yep, in lieu of the coronavirus, locking everything down, we're making beer at home. Uh, we encourage you to get out and buy beer while you can. Support Share time with small breweries. Them. Exactly. Get it while you can, but you know, keep your distance. Like, back up, buddy. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, so we're uh, finishing up the, or continuing with the brew day, and then, yeah, the sun's kind of coming out right now. It was raining earlier, so. San Diego rain, we love it, but it's also like seeing the sun after a little while is a good thing. True, true. All right, so let's get to it. Stay tuned. Woo! <laughs> Woo, yeah, buddy! Mmm, smells like pancakes. <laughs> smells like pancakes and pretzels. Partial. The trick is to cut it <laughs> with meth. With meth. <laughs> All the cereal. That way, everyone. That's why everyone keeps coming back for the beer. They can't get enough. <laughs> stabby, stabby. <laughs> I prefer cutting it with meth and then the stabbing motion. <laughs> Yeah, get a little stabby here. <laughs> Breaking Bad taught us anything. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Woo! So cool. <laughs> Here's where the hazy part comes in. Let's haze for days. Part of any balanced breakfast. <laughs> All the flake oats. When in doubt, when you don't have a bottle opener. You always have a mash handle. No, I don't have a mash handle. God damn it. Alright, let me take this out real quick. Yeah. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> So we just got in our sparging. Uh, so what we did, so we actually sparged with two gallons of oak water, which is water that's been, you know, filled uh, wine barrels to, you know, expand and all that. So that's where we're at. Um, 
now we're just jamming out some music and having a good time and waiting for the boil to come up and having some good beer. We're gonna be, we had the boil going. Fuggles first, right? Yeah, so we're doing Fuggles. Uh, yeah, what's the recipe say? Um, two point, two and a half ounces. All right, two and a half, two and a half ounces of Fuggles for the beginning boil. Woo! Cool. Turns into a little green machine in there. So there we go. We got those added. Now we're just waiting for the next 30 minutes. boys and girls, ladies and germs. Uh, with 30 minutes left uh, on the boil, we're gonna be adding just over two ounces of El Dorado hops. Uh, gonna give a little bit of bitterness, but also get those aromatics that we're looking for. Boom! El Dorado! Donk. Nothing like it. Woo! Steamy! All right, and ladies and gentlemen, once more, Hop Edition, Brew One. We've got a good little, uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Just add the hops you want. We're here at our last 10 minutes of the brew. Boop, boop, boop. Into the hop spider. Nothing like it. Best however many dollars you may spend at some point. Give a little stir, stir, stir. But the rolling boil is helping with that as well. Oh, it's good stuff. One day we'll get that smell of vision going. Ooh. It's like bread, but with a little bit of spiciness and gardeny fresh. It's good stuff. All right, so we're at that point where we um, turn on some good tunes, but also uh, cut off the boil. So we're going to start cooling down the uh, the wart. We got our handy dandy wart chiller. Throw it in for the last 10 minutes of your boil, everyone. Sanitize. Sanitization is key in brewing. So we're going to do that, uh, get it cooled down. But it's not really fun to watch that because just cold water being recirculated. No, but it's fun to watch the setup. So take a quick look. All right. All right, all right, all right. So we'll do the setup of it, or how we do it. Just in case you don't know. So, uh, you have your wart chiller, handy dandy, copper one right here, nice here. and shiny. Throw it in for the last like five, 10 minutes of your uh, boil process. Ooh, and a beer. beer. Oh, we can't forget the beer. Right? Boy. Already got it going. There oh, go. cheers, buddy. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Anyway. So we're gonna fill this with water here in a second, for obvious reasons. But yeah, pick your favorite cooler. Um, so, in our cooling process, what we do is we get a, uh, we can get a pond pump from Home Depot for like 20 bucks, and hook that up to a power supply, and emerge it in ice water. Hook it up to the bar because it already comes with the bar. So hook that up to the tubing. I don't remember what tubing this is, but yeah, it's, it's like food grade poly. And they're like diameter. Well, that's, I think that's like three quarter inch. Three quarter inch, maybe. Oh, I don't Close. know. I don't remember. Anyways, so hook that up. So ours is kind of like a top to bottom one. So the bottom one's here that up so then once we yeah so there's the pump yep yep so you pick which side you want going in which side you want going out um so usually we let it uh dip out for a minute for the, the upper upper coil um and then until it starts getting cool and then we put yeah. it back in to our cooler where it can you know recirculate so you don't lose a bunch of water yeah. And then from there, we just wait until it gets down to like... Because as soon as you turn the pump on, water coming out the out end is going to be screaming hot. You so don't want that. Instead of melting all your ice and compromising that, just pump some water through it and get it, uh, you know, cool down the, the wart chiller, basically. And then 
we'll throw this back in and get that recirculation. Yeah. It'll be good. That. So we also, I don't know if you guys saw it earlier in the video, or in other videos that we've done. Uh, so we also have a, essentially it's a, it's a meat thermometer. But it works awesome in brewing too, because you gotta regulate temperature. So we'll probably put this temperature back into our work. And once it gets down to like, let's say like 70, 75. Take our gravity rating. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll transfer it over to fermenter. And then from there, then we'll take a gravity reading and all that, all that jazz. But yeah, pitching temperature is between 60, 75, maybe 80, but definitely you want to get it down to 75. Right? Pretty much that. Woo! We'll see you on the other cold side. Yeah. Let me get the garden hose. All right, you're doing it. So, with the shutdown and all the essential staff on deck, everybody else is kind of out of the way. It is beer time. Well, ending of, well, there's no ending of beer time. There's always no, no, a new no. beer to be opened. Beer time is to be opened. Uh, if you have not educated yourself about Mike Hess in San Diego, the Habitus is a double IPA, IPA, and a pale ale. We all love it. It's good. It's kind of does the job real quick. Gives you good beer in a short amount of time and that buzz that you're looking for after maybe two or three beers. So we're using it to end our beer day, 8%. Um, with that though, we encourage everybody, stay safe, disinfect, uh, keep take, the stuff at bay. Take a shower. <laughs> Absolutely. Nobody likes a stinky, you know, person who's infected. Come on, if you're going to be infected, be clean. That's what I'm saying. Dress up, wear all your nicest garments, but wash them once you get home. Um, we're all taking time. Have a beer. Exactly. Support the local home brewer, or not home brewers, but breweries. Absolutely. Stock up while city. you can. Yep. But also, I just want to say uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, I know kind of times are tough and all that, but you know. We're still trying to produce content and make delicious beer. So we're taking our duties worth to uh, get close in proximity. Luckily we're brewing and that's killing off all the virus and all the bacteria that might be associated with uh, our beer making process. We're still following standard sanitation practices, but as always, Mr. Nate come in here and give me a, <laughs> Ooh, we're breaking this. The love barrier. Social distancing is not here. Ah, it's okay. We, we we sanitized ourselves. I literally had like a glob of the sanitizer. I just he didn't like it, but I did. So everybody. What was that lube? I don't know. <laughs> nah, you know the difference. He knows the difference. Anyway, everyone. Anyway, thank you for watching. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. Modern brew life will still be a thing. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. We encourage you to brew at home. This is a big thing. Follow, if you have any questions, ask us, reach out. We'd love to answer any home brewing questions because we want to encourage that. Get out and support your local home brew mart, places that sell grain and hops, yeast. Do it because you never know how long we might be locked inside. And so you want to have some brew on the other side of the, the craziness. Exactly. Well, thank you again for joining on the Epic Brew Day. Thank and all thank, of you. Thank you all for viewing, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. So stay, stay tuned for the next video, I there guess. There will be more videos, absolutely, yes. for sure. All right, later, everybody. Viva Madrasha!